A Roblox game is made up of objects called instances. Instances are the base building blocks of a Roblox game. An instance can be anything like a 3D mesh, a texture, a particle emitter, and so on and so forth. Each instance has a set of properties that control how the instance behaves. For example, the part instance has a few properties like size, position, and color. These properties can be change directly through Roblox Studio in the Properties tab. But if you want to change these properties dynamically, you will need to use scripts. Roblox uses their own scripting language called Lua U, which is a modified version of Lua. To create a script on Roblox, you can start by either creating a server script that runs on the server or a local script that runs on the player's device. For best practice, put all local scripts inside Star Starter player dot starter player scripts and put all server scripts inside server script service. Let's say we have a part inside the workspace and we want to change its transparency property to 0.5 so that it will be a little bit transparent. We can put a part inside the workspace and then put a local script inside starter player scripts. We can access the part by saying game dot workspace dot part because the workspace is in the game and the part is in the workspace so the entire path to the part is game.workspace.part and once we say that we can set the transparency to 0.5 by adding dot transparency equals 0.5 now once we play the game this script will run and the parts transparency will be set to 0.5 if this doesn't work for you make sure you have streaming enabled disabled in the workspace properties let's say we want to change the parts color we can do the same thing except instead of transparency we can modify the color property but here's the thing we can't set the color to 0.5 because color is not a number the data type used for colors on roblox is called a color 3 we can create a new color 3 by saying color 3.new and passing in the red blue and green components in between the parentheses however it's hard to know what the rgb values for color are off the top of your head. So, Roblox gives you a color picker that you can use that will automatically fill in the RGB components for the color you pick. So the entire line would be game.workspace.part.color equals color3.new and then your three components. And after playing the game, the part will become red. That's essentially all there is to it. Inside of Roblox, you're just changing properties to make things look different. Different. There's much more you can do with scripting, but the Roblox engine all comes down to creating instances and changing the properties on those instances. But yeah, I just kind of uploaded this because I didn't really have anything else to upload and I was going to make a video about YouTube Simulator Ultimate, but there wasn't anything that was super interesting about that yet. But more updates on that game coming very soon. If you want more tutorials like this, let me know and I will see See you later, I'm just kidding.